Keane again. Can he do it this time? And but for James, he would have done. In comes Clough. David James is there again and again from Clough. A triple save. What a way to start a lead career with Liverpool. Since those early curly days as a Graham Smith signing, David James has gone through a few changes. He's grown into one of the country's outstanding goalkeepers. But it's not just on the field where his fame has spread. Readers of the club magazine will know all about his ability as an artist. His sketches of teammates are now bestsellers. Drawing, though, is only one of his many talents, and Never Walk Alone took the giant keeper to the famous Walker Gallery in Liverpool to find out about the footballer artist. It's basically all footballers, caricature type things. I mean, I don't, don't try and take um, anyone's features and, and make them look abnormal, which a lot of caricatures do. Um, I think that's a bit, a bit naughty, really. I like, as I say, I like to keep the face as a face. And then the body, it might be in a, in a funny position, whatever, but um, as long as the face is recognisable and it isn't uh, insulting in any way, then there's no harm done. When did you discover this talent? You you, so it was at school um, the first day there. The homework was to draw a map of France. And like, everyone's come in with these like, outlines with Paris here and wherever, wherever, you know, and there was me, coloured everything in. The hills were like, like out of a map it was, you know, everything was like OTT, but um, I enjoyed doing it, so... The only thing is I failed my art um, CSE exam, so... <laughs> that's a great picture. <clears throat> See, that's, that's a nice picture. That's attention to detail for you. It is, yeah. I mean, that's a nice picture. It's not the best up close to the same. You know, you spoil when you, when you do see things like uh, Michelangelo, especially like this, the Sistine Chapel and things like that. As I said, if you... When you actually look at the picture, it's as close as, as you can get to photographs, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if you think that someone's like painstakingly done every little bit of it. Yeah, I think it's got um, a lot of feel in it. You yeah. can tell by the, by the difference in, in the textures there and the colour coming out here and there. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of things there. I mean, this one I particularly like here. It's, again, it's got the uniform shape. It's got a texture to it with a like an abstract undercoat feeling. Um, That's just you know. chilling my lunch. <laughs> oh. It's not a... Sorry. It's okay, but you can have a bite if you want. But thanks. It's worth 20 uh, grand. It's 20 <laughs> grand meat pie. Yeah, sorry. Myself and Stan were asked to do Arena Home Plus. It was done in Liverpool on the Sunday. Uh, Stan couldn't turn up, so I went along on my own. Um, I got, and I got a cover from there, so <clears throat> that was nice in itself. Um, apparently, Mr. Omani and his, as he said, his press organisation and such are all keen football fans. So I think he came over to England or read the the, uh, the Arena magazine, saw the cover, and said, "I like him. That's that's who I want to um, for advertising." So, do you like the catwalk side of things? I was I was very nervous to be honest with you. Very nervous. It was uh, <clears throat> it was a weird situation. I mean, you you run out in front of forty thousand people and you can handle it. Well, I say I can handle it. I can I can make a mistake and carry on without worrying about it. But when it was the first time on the catwalk, I thought if I trip over, then everyone's looking. At, you know, it was like a real major pressure thing. But um, it was in the end, it was good. It was good fun. Shot. I did have a tendency before to to play 80 minutes of a game, be it the first 80 or the last 80, and for 10 minutes in the game, just how can I say, drift off. I'm, you know, it wasn't like I was. I didn't even realise I was there. But you, during the game, you don't take in, you don't take account of what's happening, and you know, um, it can prove costly. So I think obviously the concentration has been <clears throat> much better. It's not far away from Euro 96. There has been a call from the Liverpool then for you to be wearing the number one shirt. Yeah, why not? I mean, I think when, you, when you're playing against the world's best in, in, in brackets um, on a regular basis sort of thing, then what's the worry?